Today we're in the Lake District, the Burdell Valley, a place called Grange. We're going to walk up to Sea Toller and make it around. We're parked at the side of the road, free parking. We're heading forward now on the footpath towards Grange. We drop off the footpath and walk forward at the side of the river. That's Grange in front of us. At the bridge, we turn right, head into Grange. We cross over the bridge and then turn left. Just keep heading forward up the road, walking round the bend. On the left hand side, just before you go round the bend, you've got toilets and that. So we're heading forward now for a short way. Then just after the cafe, we turn left. You can see the footpath sign. Signpost says Sea Toller, three mile. We have a little signpost that says slow down red squirrels. Let's hope we see one. So we're heading forward now on the tarmac track through the trees towards Sea Toller. You can see his tail. Has he moved? Where is he? Oh yeah. Yes, I've got him, I've got him. He's there. But you're not kidding, it's first we've seen for years. He was in that V of that tree. We had a red squirrel there. And as we head forward along the track, that's looking to our right. You're walking with a taxi driver today in the Lake District in the sunshine it's the 1st of October we just keep heading forward looks like we're in for a good day we just keep following the track till we come to a public bridleway sign we turn left there signpost says Castle Crag so we're heading forward now on a stone track on our left hand side we've got a campsite that's looking to our right. As we head forward, we've got the river in front of us. As we head forward, we can see a footpath sign. We turn left there on the Cumbria Way, heading towards Rothwaite. We go through a gate. As we head forward through the trees, the river's on our left. We can see the odd fish jumping, probably a trout. Well, there's certainly plenty to film on this walk. I think you need your camera. As you walk up the steps, turn left through the wall. As you come over a tiny rise, the path splits into two. We turn left there, still following the river. Footpath sign says Rothwaite. We drop down through an old quarry. We keep going. At the end of the trees, we go through a gate. We're out into open fields now. That's looking to our left hand side as we head forward towards the river. We're heading towards the river now. Well, I think that looks pretty good. We're not that far from Rothwaite now. We just keep heading forward. All the way we've had the river on our left. That's looking to our right hand side. And again. There's a bridge on your left. That'll take you to Rothwaite. But we keep heading forward. Crossing over the wooden bridge. With the river still on our left hand side. That's the view to your right hand side. As we cross over the wooden bridge. We see a tiny gate in front. We ignore that and just keep bearing off left. We're heading forward down the path. That's looking over the river on our left. We just keep heading forward. We walk by stepping stones on our left hand side. 
If you crossed over to the other side, that would take you back to Rothwaite. But we're heading straight on. We keep going, we'll soon be at Sea Toller now. Dog coming here, look. We're just coming into Longthwaite now. Dog come to see us. It's all over. <laughs> well, dog stood at gate waiting to go through. He seems to know his way. We just keep heading forward along the track. Farm on our right hand side. As we head forward, we see the bridge on our left hand side in a few houses. We turn right there, following the tarmac track, walking in front of the youth hostel. So we're at the other side of the youth hostel now, heading forward. Still making our way towards Sea Toller. We're still following the path, but there's the view in front of us. And if we go a bit closer, we can see a waterfall there. Just down below, there's a tiny bridge with a little path going off. We just keep heading forward, bearing slightly right into the trees. Well, we can see buildings in front of us now. We go through a wall and turn left. And that's looking left up the valley. So we're dropping down into the car park at Sea Toller now. We'll find somewhere for a cup of tea. Just we've gone into the car park on our left hand side. We've got a Red Admiral warming itself up in the sun. We saw two yesterday when we were up Ard Crags. At the car park, on our right hand side, you've got toilets and that. At the end of the car park, we turn right, up the road. So we're making our way up the road, looking for a right turn now. We head uphill for a short way, till we come to a sharp left hand bend we can see the footpath sign in front of us we turn right there as we make our way up the path and look to our right hand side we've got sea toller and the burdell valley down below as we make our way up the path let's give you a couple of shots to our right as we start to gain some height hopefully we should get some good pictures this after. That's after we've had a cup of tea. Janice is still looking for a place. And as we steadily make our way uphill, there's a view. And as we climb a bit higher and look to our left, there's the view and the road leading up to Honister Pass. We just keep following the path uphill and walk to the left hand side of the tree till we meet the wall. We go through the gate and then turn right. Well, that was a great place to stop for a cup of tea. A good sun trap, tiny little spring on our left and fantastic views. So we've gone up to the gate, turned right. So we're heading forward now, following the wall. On our right hand side, Castle Crag. And that's looking to our right again. And again, we'll keep going. And as we head forward, crossing over a tiny stream, we can see Rothwaite down below to our right. So as we head forward, we'll be passing Castle Crag on our right hand side. We've done that one from Rothwaite on video. And that's just to the right hand side of Castle Crag. We're crossing over a couple of little bridges. We can see Castle Crag in the distance 
or the top of it anyway. And as we're crossing over a little stream, that's looking up to our left. And there's Castle Crag on our right hand side. We keep going. Well, we're just at the side of Castle Crag now, heading downhill. We can see Derwent Water in the distance. And as we head down towards the river, we've decided to take one last shot before the sun drops any lower and everything's covered in shadow. And here we've got some herdwicks crossing the path. This is just looking back uphill, but as we were walking down, we noticed every fence post had a stone on top of it. And as we head downhill towards the river, we turn left. We're retracing our steps now back towards Grange. So we're heading forward now. In the shadow, sun's dropped. <laughs> well, that went a fair old way, that one. Just looking for flat stones to skim over the water. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see you later, mate. At the end of the track, we turn right. So we're back in Grange now, turning right towards the bridge. We're just making our way through Grange now. It's only a tiny place. Another minute, we'll be onto the bridge. Well, we just need to cross over the bridge and we're back at our car. We hope you've enjoyed our walk in the Lake District, Burdale Valley, from Grange up to Seatoll around. You've been walking the taxi drive today.